I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens and bring back the native plants. Community church gardens. I have faith in seeds. Very good things will come from this. Delta Green is the technical partner. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009. And thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, at the heart of this work is a group of students from Northern Michigan University. My name is Tom Merkel. My name is Caitlin Bingner. I'm Adam Magnuson. But we will be working with tribes, especially Kiwana Bay, and I want to honor them. Expect great wonders. You know, one of the recurrent themes in all the great religious traditions is that, that which the world rejects, uh, God does the real work. That which is small, great things come. That, that which is rejected. And uh, one of the fascinating parts of uh, this ongoing uh, work, this great work, uh, is to partner with the Native American communities here in the Upper Peninsula. They have struggled, those of you who know your history, in over generations fighting to protect their sovereignty and their traditions and their teachings. They are joining us uh, as partners in this initiative. And what I've got here is from the Keweenaw Bay Greenhouse that was built in 2010. These are native plants. You cannot buy these in Walmart. They're not available at Shopco. You can't get these by sending out to a seed company. These are hard, hand-harvested seeds. These are going to be partners with our gardens, our church gardens. So we will be working with tribes, especially Kiwana Bay, to help, uh, help their efforts and also to spread and bring back the native plants. And uh, through this snowstorm today, uh, they drove down two hours to be with us through the snow. And I want to honor them and uh, just have them bring us a word of blessing. Could you bring a word to us? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we brought some of our native plants and our uh, medicines. Um, the sweet grass is for smudging, and we have sweet sweet fern, and that's a medicine in our um, midday lodge, in our, or in our sweat lodges and stuff. Um, and the flowers are native, and it brings all the good animals, like everybody was talking about. Um, the, the greenhouse is doing wonderfully. It smells like life in there. It's all green. That up. Want you to lift that? That it took that took place oh. in the dedication of the greenhouse mm -hmm. in 2010. The first one east of the Mississippi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we have a restoration site where we plant all the native uh, yeah. plants. And we have we ca we did a capstone. Is that what it is? Yes. Yes. And right. we put a uh, soil on top of crushed mine. And, Th and thank you yeah. for being our partners. It's, it's a beautiful project. You should come see it. Thank you. Okay. So to close the conference here, uh, two days ago I was on, on the Sioux St. Marie Tribal Reservation, and uh, I was talking about this project, and I was sitting across from a tribal member, Catherine Brosmer, and I was talking about this event today. And without, without a blink of the eye, she said this to me. I have no doubt that no plant will spring from the land without seed being sown. But I have faith in seeds. Convince me that there's a seed there, and I will expect great wonders. Then she said, Henry David Thoreau. So uh, that, I'm going to use that uh, quote to close us. And again, uh, honoring all our speakers, especially our Native friends who have come from the Kiwana Bay community. I know that 
very good things will come from this. That is community church gardens, whether it be a vegetable garden, a healing garden, a meditation garden, herb garden. My native plant garden in Milwaukee is about 20 feet by 15 feet, and it is just a delight for me to see my workers in there. In the morning and coming back in the evening, the male bombus or bumblebees roost. My garden serves as a repository for those native bees and other pollinators for my whole urban community. These small native gardens serve as the pollinator source for the vegetable garden, not just in that churchyard, but in the neighborhood. And that is really a delightful thing. Those church lots and other uh, facilities related to that really do matter, and what we are doing really does matter.